Hey guys, Gamers in here and welcome back to another episode of Connolly Ship Build. I know, I know, it's been a very long time since the last video. I am really sorry about that. I've been like really busy with some other stuff. Some stuff are actually related to Space Engineer. I cannot wait to reveal them once they're finished. I think I'm like one or two months away from finally finishing it. And I'm really sorry for the voice. It's a mess. Uh, I'm actually really sick, so yeah, the voice is all over the place. Anyway, let's get to the build. First of all, let's go for like an overview, um, like a summary of the ship. I'm gonna, since it's been a while, let's go through it again. So, we got the dome, where our city is gonna be. I still have no idea what I'm actually gonna do with the city. Got some ideas. Then we got the hangar. Alright, on the left and on the right side, um, we got our small hangers. I believe we got five of them, and they are all. Uh, if you shut the gates, we got an airtight hanger basically. And at the back, there is a hallway. On the top of them, we got four medium size uh, landing pads, and then we got our four. There are two on the top and two at, two at the bottom. Large hang, um, landing pads, and then two extra large or like giant uh, landing pads. They're quite big actually, and here's the um, like entrance or transit system. I don't really know what to call them. And then we got our engineer room, or uh, this is actually our reactor room, which actually we're gonna get rid of, and we're gonna create a new um, module for our reactor room. Something that looks actually cool and resemble of a reactor module or room rather than whatever data that is in the back I really don't like it oh and here's our production module I actually really like this some people found this to be like um, way over the top I agree with you completely but I love it and it's somewhat semi automated so I actually created this uh, system once in a survival build it works really well actually and here's the scale of the ship it's really big I think it's like one kilometers long and 500 meters and 500 meters wide. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. All right, let's get rid of our uh, reactor room. That's like what 10 hours of work. Not 10 hours, like that. Three to four hours of work. <laughs> Back when I was working on the reactor module or room, I wasn't really happy with the result at the end uh, and I was gonna do a redesign immediately after but I was like, nah, let's not do it, let's first and uh, do something else. So I started working on the production module, uh, finished that and after that I pretty much stopped working on the ship and I got distracted by other stuff mentioned that at the beginning of the video but I am gonna continue working on the ship you guys can expect monthly update and the way I'm actually gonna do it is gonna be like I'm gonna work on one part of the ship one module of the ship finish it completely uh, edit it put it all together do a voiceover and then release the video for you guys this is like I, I believe this was like a five or six hours of work turned into a 30 or 40 minutes video I believe this is one of my longest video that I've ever released not sure completely anyway let's talk about the module itself and the idea behind it and the way I'm actually gonna design it is gonna be actually kind of interesting I decided to have it uh, have the module the reactor module detachable yes you heard me right the whole module is gonna be detachable why you may ask well imagine this there are a bunch of blue goose on a planet and with it being with the module being detachable you can literally nuke the whole planet no I'm just kidding <laughs> even though it's a viable option but it's still I'm, I'm just kidding um, the main reason for this is actually safety. What if something bad happened to the module and you can like no longer control control it and it's about to go boom? Well, you can just simply um, detach it from the main ship, but it's basically jettison it, and you're safe. Uh, or 
you can make the attachments from the main ship do necessary repair and then just uh, use other ships to guide it into the like the slot and attach it to the ship again Okay, let's talk about what the hell I'm doing right now. Um, what I'm working here is actually a hallway access to the control room that's gonna be at the end of the uh, module or near the main thrusters. I'm not gonna actually finish the hallway uh, fully and fully like with the interior of it until the end of the video. I'm gonna do some lighting, some recoloring of some of the blocks. At the end, it end up looking really cool. Anyway, let's uh, talk about all of these random blocks that I am actually placing. These are the um, support beam for the um, reactor module itself. Reactor core, let's call it let's call it reactor core module. And at the end of each one, we're gonna attach one merge block, actually two uh, facing each other. You know how it works. And when necessary, when you really need to, you can simply jettison the whole module. It's not gonna work in game like you don't have any like a um, there's actually a mod, what was its name, Critical Explosion, something like that, like if you have that mod, it would be perfect for that, so yeah, it still has some kind of use, but not really for the vanilla build, anyway, let's continue the build. working on an arrow shell for the core itself and the whole um, bottom gonna be open but uh, we need to uh, airtight the rest of the core oh sorry I meant the module
all right now we can start working on the control room which is gonna be in this area that you guys are seeing and this is going way too long and trying to fill this whole area ah, there we go all right let's extend the uh, hallway and then we're gonna have like a uh, two uh, elector leading to the control module itself that's pretty much it so yeah let's continue the build itself Alright, let's have a quick look at the hallways. We have two hallways actually, uh, they are separated uh, by using gates. Basically, when there is some kind of depressurization, we can shut the gates. And here's the control room. Uh, I'm actually gonna work on the interior now. Um, this is not finished again. Uh, oh, I think I forgot to mention um, this area here is actually I'm gonna turn it into a cargo area and there's gonna be a bunch of like small craft like small vehicles to move things around and under the mod under the control room is gonna be our parking spot for those small like vehicles all right to the control station interior so i decided to go with a elevated platform on that elevated platform we're gonna have our station so our engineers can do whatever they have to do with the code and then we're gonna have a bunch of lcds all around the control room so that our engineers can monitor the status of the core and maybe some other part of the ship and under this elevated platform we're gonna have a bunch of server blocks
so that's pretty much it with the controller station um, I don't think I do I want to do anything else with it rather than just um, just basically turning those LCDs into something that actually looks cool and change the lighting um, lighting can make the biggest differences anyway finally we can start working on the core itself first the core shell um, we have to work on the core shell so let's check this out and I'll come back Alright, since the core is actually separated uh, from the rest of the ship and it's not attached to any of the conveyor system, it's completely by its own. So we need a um, bunch of connector and ports so we can fill the cargo containers, the small cargo containers and the reactor themselves with fuel. And unfortunately since it's gonna be a detachable module, the only way to be able to refill the whole thing is going to be from the bottom of the ship and I think that's it's actually a quite a good idea it's a safer idea anyway 
uh, I think I forgot to mention something really important. Um, if you look at the ship, uh, I'm, I've used a lot of glass. That's like one of the main things that I was aiming for. Some kind of a design language and I went with a lot of glass and glass is everywhere in this ship. We'd finish with both our cages and the hallways and the control station at the back. Time to work on the core module itself. And then we're gonna attach a lot of small reactors and we're gonna decorate the whole thing so that it looks really cool.
all right and uh, that was quite long uh, I was um, like the design I actually quite I'm actually quite happy with the way it all came out especially after I've uh, finished doing all the lighting and changing the, like the colors and stuff uh, and don't and don't forget I'm still not finished with the what was called the hallway that's behind me right now anyway um lighting really important and um, I think this end up being um, the most finished actually part of the ship that I am like, really happy with so yeah going to like changing bunch of like setting to get cool colors and not only like cool colors but they need to make kind of sense anyway enjoy the rest Alright, time to do some redesign of the hallways. I think the biggest problem, if you look at it, is it's just too big, right? The height is way too much, the scale is all over the place, so what's the best we can do? Basically, reduce the size, right? And make it more cramped. And the best way to, uh, to do it, in my opinion, was to use a bunch of ramps. First of all, ramps look really cool, and they have a really cool design on them. So they give the area kind of a more sci-fi look to the hallway. Anyway, at first I was planning to cover the top of the ramps, but I've changed my mind uh, and I decided to use glass on top of them and use kind of a mood lighting uh, on the, I like to call it second floor even though it's not accessible. Uh, I don't know what it's called, uh, if you know, please let me know. Guys, uh, look outside the windows or just look outside. You see that uh, red plane? Yeah, the cemetery was on the whole time and I was making a big mess as soon as I actually started working on the redesign of the hallway and I, was, I had no clue. So yeah, you can imagine <laughs> what happened when I actually noticed the mess I was making on the other side. Yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it, or um, 
reactor module which contains our hallway control station and the core itself uh, I believe this is our first like part of the ship or module that like it's pretty much finished it's like 90% 95% and I'm really really happy with the result I hope you guys are too and I hope you guys find this video interesting to watch and enjoyable again um, sorry for my bad English it's not my main language I'm trying my best and sorry for the voice I am really sick my voice just goes all over the place it's a mess anyway as I mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, I'm gonna continue working on the ship um, and I will <coughs> sorry I will update you guys monthly hopefully and the way I'm gonna do it is gonna be like I'm gonna work on one part of the ship finish that part of the ship and edit it do a voiceover and render it out upload on v2 for you guys to enjoy and if you enjoyed this one please consider leaving a like if you didn't just like let me know how i can improve my videos and if you find this video interesting please consider uh, sharing it with your friends and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video until then fly safe build safe and take care bye bye